I'm gonna start by taking this pretty thick headband that I bought at Valley Village and removing the top fabric layer. Now I'm gonna lay it down on a piece of cardboard and I'm gonna trace it with the pen. Now you can go ahead and cut out the strip that we will glue on top of the crown and it will act as our base. To ensure that the headband will be able to bend and stretch, now we're gonna cut the strip into smaller paddle looking like pieces. If you guys are into crown making, I definitely would recommend getting this styrofoam head. It just helps to center everything and make sure that the headband is stretched out while you glue all the pieces on top of it. I am using a hot glue gun and I'm just making sure that all of the pieces are spaced out evenly and everything looks symmetrical. Make sure you apply a lot of hot glue from all of the sides this is the base of the crown so we have to make sure that it's gonna stick very very well now I'm just taking my small scissors and just making sure that each petal looks perfect and more rounded now comes the fun part and I'm gonna be using these bamboo skewers as the spikes on the crown uh, you can get these at any grocery store I got mine at the dollar store I'm gonna measure out the length that I want first and then just leave a mark with the pen on the skewer so I know where to cut it. I'm using cutters to cut the skewers. Uh, you can definitely use scissors but it's gonna be a lot harder to do so so I definitely recommend using cutters. I like to arrange all of the pieces before I glue them on just to make sure that everything is gonna look exactly how I want it to look and that everything is exactly the length that I want. Then I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and start gluing them on and I'm gluing the skewers at the back of the crown. All I'm doing now is repeating all of these steps, measuring, cutting and gluing until the whole crown is covered in spikes. Now I'm gluing some rhinestones at the bottom of the crown just to cover that ridge and to make it a little bit more intricate. The gems are different colors but it doesn't matter because we're going to be covering the whole crown in gold paint. I am spray painting my crown outside and I'm using this cardboard just to protect my balcony from the paint. Don't forget to give it a few coats. It's very easy to miss a spot or two because the crown is so intricate. So just take your time when spray painting it. And this is it, your crown is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!